Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do another Pound World and Pound Land haul. Um, I know it was only like a matter of what, a couple of weeks ago that I did that last one, but oh my god, it was so popular that um, everyone went bonkers for it. And I, like, I was like, when I uploaded, I thought, ah, no one's going to be interested in this. I'll just do it anyway because I bought a load of stuff. But um, yeah, you guys seem to really like it. So I just thought, I've been shopping, been again to Poundland and Pound World, and I just thought, let's just film it. Might as well be of some interest to somebody because obviously at the minute, Easter is in the shops. So they are full of all the Easter crafts and chocolate and novelties and all that type of stuff. So I just thought I will do this video and it may be of interest and at least you can see what is out there and what is in the shops right now so let's just go over because i did this at the beginning of the last one and it seemed to be very interesting because people just wanted to double check of which one was which so you have pound world that is the one with the big blue sign and pound world is the one that has stuff obviously in for a pound but also stuff that has um, price of like 250 five pound could be even more some stuff's like 10 pound in there that is like maybe like a big toy or something for your house so not everything in there is one pound but there is some obviously like better quality items and bigger like household pieces etc then you have pound land which is the green sign and pound land majority is about at least 90 odd percent of it is all a pound but you do get like manager specials, which might be like five pounds for maybe like a big cushion or um, a big lamp for your living room or something like that. So that is the quick disclaimer on the both shops of which one is which. So now we're gonna crack on with it and see what I got at Pound World and Pound Land. Right, we're gonna start with Pound Land. Now, to be honest, Pound Land wasn't really doing it for me. When I went in, there wasn't really a good selection this year of Easter stuff. I was really surprised because last year I'd got loads of lovely things from Poundland and this year the aisle was a lot smaller um, and it just wasn't drawing me in. It actually felt like some of it was more tat than all else. Um, it did pick up a few little pieces which I really did like so I'm going to show you those now and the mark, I think there's like an item as well that's not obviously Easter but um, I'm going to show you that because obviously I did buy some things that were Easter as well. So I'm going to crack on with the first item that I bought and it was this. Um, all these items I'm going to show you were actually a pound. So they were all basically a pound. Um, it was this little rabbit. I don't know if it's going to show it on the camera but it lights up. I'm going to try and bring it in. Ah, you can see it's changing. And it just changes through different colours. And I just thought look, it's going blue now. How cute is that for a pound? And this I bought for Rita's bedroom. Rita's my nearly seven year old little girl and she loved this. So I bought that for her. It already comes with a little battery scene and you can actually change it as well when they run out. And I just thought that was super cute for a pound. So I picked that up for her. Oh, it's going pink now. So I got that. Turn it off. That's my bunny. Pop it on my table. Then I got Rita this. Oops, this one. Be better I showed it the right way around, wouldn't it? I picked up this bunny bag and I just thought, how cute is that? To like, I mean, she probably, she, she wanted it just basically just for a bag. It wasn't the fact that it was just even Easter. She just said, oh, mum, I really want that bunny bag. So I picked that up for her. Um, the ears, I just love the fact that they handle the ears. And you've got a Velcro at the top and then you can obviously open it, put your ear bunnies back up again and a pound, you can't go wrong, can you? But you could fill it with like Easter treats or your egg hunt or whatever, but she wanted it just for like a little handbag. So I picked that up for a pound. Then I picked up these Maynard Bassett Jelly Babies, but they're actually chicks. So these are gonna be all things that I'm gonna put in like an Easter big like box or basket for my children. Cause um, if you haven't watched previous videos, I have six children aged between 14 and nine months. So obviously, at Easter we have got quite a few like sweet treats and eggs and stuff so I picked these up for the older children um these little chicks which are basically jelly babies but shaped like chicks I don't know if it's going to be able to show it on camera but they've got they're basically little chick heads and these were a pound I just thought they were just a novelty and cute and a good price as well for a pound for a big bag then I picked up 
this for Rita, which is a little bunny skipping rope. Um, again, I just thought that was a really cute thing just for her to play with and use, and she'd probably use it this summer as well, and you can't go wrong for a pound, can you? So I got that little bunny skipping rope. Just thought that was really cute. Then I picked up these, which I've been in before and, and I've seen them, but I, I just thought, oh, I, why did I not pick those up? And they're actually two little egg cups. Um, I'm, gonna get, I'm trying to get one out so I can show you. So you've got a bunny and a chicken. I'm going to get it out of the case and I can show you because it'll look better than the plastic reflecting. So you've got a bunny like that, which is made out of porcelain. And then you've got a chick like that and you got two for a pound so i mean you can't go wrong can you two of those for a pound i just thought my kids love boiled eggs in fact they love like eggs anyway any type you do your eggs they love it so i just thought these were just way too cute not to get so i picked those up because i just thought a pound i mean 50p each come on like how can you not i mean how do they even make them for like 50p each it's just it's just absolutely mind-blowing that they even can make them for 50p each um then i picked up this that I'm going to hang outside my front door because um, we always kind of like make a bit of effort in the front garden. So I'm going to pop that up. I've got some lovely of those like those grass balls. I don't even know what you call them, but you know you hang them like outside your door. So I'm going to pop that up on the side of the wall and it says hop this way and it's made out of wood with the little hanging handle and for a pound again, I honestly, I do not know how they even make this stuff because it's such good quality. You went to like a little, you know, little... That's like a little really cute, you know, like little crafty kind of like shops on High Street. Um, you'd probably pay like 10 quid for it, wouldn't you? So I thought that's just too quick. And they had loads of different different ones that said like egg hunt this way or something else this way. And but I obviously got hot this way because so I just thought we're not it's not like an egg hunt we're doing, but yeah, a pound. You can't go wrong, can you, for a pound for that? And then the very last item, because I told you I did not get much from Poundland, which is not Easter, but I could not believe that it was in there. I was like, what um, is this squid soap? Now, if you don't know what squid soap is, it is, 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 is um, you, it's to encourage kids to know when they have properly washed their hands. So when you pump a little bit out, it is like um, it's like a, a, a um, like a ink looks almost because obviously squids squirt out ink, so it looks like a little blob of colour. And they wash their hands on the tap, and once that colour has finally gone off the hands, is when they know that they've washed their hands properly. So it's basically stopping them from having a quick dip because you, they will see that they're still like a, a stain, kind of like on the hand, which obviously it doesn't really stain them, but it washes off in the right amount of time they should wash their hands. Now, I've had this before from Jojo Mama Babe, and I think I paid either 2 99 or 3 99 for it. It's a really, really decent size. You've got 250 mil in there, and you get this cute, like, jelly squid that's on top, so you could keep that afterwards for them um, to play with, I suppose, in bath. And a pound. It is in pound land for a pound, and I'm just like, I'll have one of those, thank you very much, because can't go wrong can you for that so yeah anyone who wants a bit of novelty wants the kids to wash their hands properly and not have germs this stuff is amazing and i couldn't believe that it was in the pound shop so definitely worth checking this out and that is the last item that i got from poundland as i said i wasn't feeling it at all i just looked around and i thought there's not really all in here today like where is all the like the good stuff that's not in there because i'm normally a big fan of poundland and I just, I wasn't feeling it. So that is what I got at Poundland. Right, let's get on to my most exciting bit, which was Pound World, because Pound World excited me this year. I'm not gonna lie, it was like just Easter heaven. It was amazing in there. They had like the best Easter aisle, seriously, since sliced bread. I was loving it. There were just so much good stuff. I had to actually hold back because I just thought, do I actually really need that? And then I didn't end up buying like some of the stuff, but now I kind of like wish I'd got it. So I may go back and get some more. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll just see how much I've got when I fill this big Easter basket up. But there was some good stuff. But some of it, obviously, I got wasn't a pound. So I will go through that as I show you. Um, 
and some bits also weren't Easter, but they were too good not to get. So I just thought, right, let's just um, stick that in basket. Got one of those ones on wheels, had the pram handle in one hand, the wheelie basket in the other, and it was spilling out by the time I got to check out, I'll tell you that. So let's crack on with what I got and show you. Okay, the first things that I bought were these little jelly chicks. And they're the ones, you know, that you have like a ball inside. I'll see if I can bash it. Oh, hold on there and it does that and um, they were a pound each and they're going to go in the Easter basket one for Rita and probably one for Cole they are for not suitable for under threes so my obviously like four and nearly seven so I got those and I got two of them because just because I thought if I get one they'll just fight over it they've got little hard plastic feet and I just thought oh that was cute so I picked up those at a pound each I can't go wrong with them then I picked up these, which are glitter um, punch balloons. Now, I've seen these in Asda. Cole actually picked one up in Asda and he wanted to get it. And I think it was like 2 99 And these are on the party aisle in Pound World. And they obviously are a pound. Um, we've got a blue one. Actually, no, we've got two blue ones. I thought we had a pink one. I think we've got a pink one. So I think I picked three of them up actually. I'll see as we go along. But I'm sure I picked three up. So I've got two blue ones. And they come with a little straw. Very similar to those like balloons that you blow up yourself. But these are like those. This is like a jelly kind of like balloon. And you blow it up and it grows, blows to about this big. And it's almost like a cross between a ball and a balloon. So it doesn't like pop like a balloon. But it's not as substantial as a ball, if you can kind of like understand that. Um, and you just punch them, bounce them. They've got a little bit on end, a bit like you would have one of those like punch balloons. And I just thought, oh my goodness, they're really good. I'm going to have to get them then. So these are going to go in the Easter basket. Um, and I got, definitely got three of them. But I can't, I've got, I haven't picked the pink one up yet, but I've got two blue, one for Nathan, one for Cole, and then a pink one for Rita. So I'll have a look at what else I got. Then I got this egg bunting well it's called egg bunting garland or whatever you want to call it but it's like little glittery i think they feel like polystyrene um and they're, it's on a lovely little pink ribbon and i picked this up because i'm going to put it across i have like a fireplace in my living room and i'm going to put it run it like right along the back of the fireplace just so it adds like a little bit of like just just spruces it up for Easter, just puts a little bit of springness, if you can call it, is that the word you can use, springness, colour, whatever. So I picked that up and I just thought, this was, this was actually a pound, um, which actually amazed me because there was some stuff like not as good as this, which was like two pound in there. So I picked this up for a pound, they also had it in a pom-pom version, which if you know me, I do have my pom-poms, but I ended up going for the egg version because I just thought that might be a bit cuter for Easter. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put this across the fireplace or you could put it on, a, on your window bottom, couldn't you? Or gather it all up into a bowl, which I, there's a million and one things you could do with it. But for a pound, I just thought it was so gorgeous. I'm gonna see if I can try and get the glitter on there, see if you can see how glitter it is. It's just sparkling, as you can see, but it's gorgeous. I can't believe that's a pound. It just, it's absolutely mind blowing that you can get it for a pound. Then we got this absolutely random item, but Cole wanted it. Oh, look, I'm blinding you. Um, is this little mini torch and Cole just picked it up and he was like mum I really want that torch and I just thought it's only a pound he can have it in car if it's dark for when you know, like one night or whatever I don't know what he's going to do with it but it was a pound and you basically switch it on you can have, oh you can have it flashing be good if we ever brought it down in car um but yeah it's a pound and it's a torch and I can't really say else more about that, but he wanted it, so um, I bought it from him, and it comes on a little key ring as well. It'd be quite good on end of like your nappy bag or something, wouldn't it? Probably, you know, if you're walking at night time, and it was on like your nappy bag or your pram, and you had it on the flashing one, and it was really dark, at least you'd be able to see where you were going and stuff, wouldn't you? So, um, and, and motorist and everyone else would be able to see you too. Right, the next thing that I got was this. I'm going to pop his little feet out so you can see. And it is a made out of cardboard bunny like basket tub. I don't know whatever you want to pronounce it, but it's got like a little bit of grey on the bottom of the feet. The handle moves back and forth. 
And I'm guessing it's so you can, if you wanted to craft it, you could colour it all in and add pom poms and chicks and whatever you want to do. But um, this, I have this tab colouring in my living room, so this fits in perfectly with my home decor, leaving it like this. And I actually like it like this. So I'm going to put some nice Easter things inside here and have it in the fireplace in my living room and hope that Vinny, the nine month old, doesn't go in and just destroy it, which. I'm probably guessing it's probably what he's going to do basically but if this was two pounds and i just liked it i just it just appealed to me and i just thought it's so nice i'm going to pick that up for two pound and yeah i did not like this in any of the other shops and i just thought for two pounds you can't go wrong so i picked that up then also i picked up this easter hunt with mr bunny finger puppet book um and I got that for Vinny. She says, read along with the finger puppet book and help the Easter Bunny find his Easter eggs. And it's just a little hardback book with the little hole in the back and you can just put your finger through and as you go through the story, basically. So it's just something that we can do with him. Obviously he can't read it because he's only nine months old, but it's just something that we can add in his basket because what do you get a nine month old for Easter apart from like a soft toy bunny or whatever? Um, so we picked that up for him. Then I picked up two of these and these were 50p each i'm gonna try and bring it up to the camera so you can see and it's basically a marshmallow lollipop it's quite a decent size and you've got a sheep a chick a carrot and a bunny and i bought two of these for the older girls because they love marshmallow and they're going to go in the easter basket because i just thought for 50p each i mean what do you get 50p that's like that they'd be like two quid won't they in the supermarket if you're picking them up so i picked those up then I picked up these, which I've got two of. I keep diving down into my bag, so if you see my head go like this, it's because I'm going down into my bag. Um, I picked up two of these ice cream tubs. Well, they, they call them, they've got, you've got 10 ice cream tubs in each one. Um, they're made by a range called Confetti, and they had, which, sound, which is really weird, right? I don't understand why they had it, but they had a massive aisle, and it was all filled with summer stuff, but all the summers, it was all reduced. So like, whether they're, they're just gonna get a whole new range in the summer, I don't know. But all the paper plates, cups, etc., ice cube trays, beach towels, swimming pools, everything was all like half price or less. So these were 50p from a pound. I got pineapples, because I thought they'd be really nice just when the kids have a bit of ice cream. But I got these blue ones with the little silver speck for Vinny's first birthday, because I thought that they'd be really cute if you just put like treats in or, I don't know what, maybe like sweetie treats if you decide to have a party or something, I don't know, but for 50p I picked those up, but they had about six different designs in them. They had this in a pink version, they had flamingos, they had beach scenes, I think they had they had stripes, oh, and they had one that called sprinkles, which was basically looked like all the sprinkle toppings that you do on your ice cream. So 50p each, I just thought, how can you not get them for 50p? So I picked those up. Then I picked up on the same aisle, this this now this excites me because it is a drinks bottle ice stick tray now as you all know if you're making like a drink for going to work and you want you know like you want it in it like really cold or like my girls they take um bottles of like dilute juice to school in the morning and usually prefer to have a just a screw top bottle than actually the proper like bottles that you would buy from the shop so i usually get them like you know like say like they've had a bottle of lucasade or whatever and you just i basically just wash it out because i much prefer them because they don't tend to leak in the bags than the actual bottles that maybe you buy from the supermarket is you can never fit the ice cube in because obviously they'll come square or round or novelty shaped well these are this shape how good is that this was 50p and you get two of them they had absolutely shed loads of them and i thought oh my god how good is that like can i why haven't have not even thought of this idea even before and two like it's just such a good idea like i've never seen it before i mean maybe i've just been missing out on this but 50p for two and the fact that they can go in the bottles just drop it straight in any shape bottle then this is going to fit in because it's just a thin one how can you not do that so 50p for two i picked those up because i just thought you cannot leave them behind so i got them then cole picked up these which are these jelly 
kind of snakes. Now he's had beetles in them, he's had worms in them. I think every time we go, they've brought out a different jelly animal. He's had jelly lizards and dinosaurs and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and when we went, they had snakes and he loves all this type of stuff. And he said, Mum, can I have those? Please, can I have them? So I said, yeah, just pop them in then if you want. So he got three jelly snakes and he loves all this type of stuff. And I've been really tight because I haven't let him actually have them because I've like, no, I need them to do in the haul. So you can have them once I've done it. And we actually went shopping on Thursday and I'm filming this on a Saturday. So I feel proper tight that I've not let him have them, but hey, oh, never mind. So you can have them now once I've filmed. So a pound for three of those. Then I picked up these, which, oh my God, I can't even believe that I actually found in Pound World. These were a pound, a pack. I picked up these ones for Rita and the blue ones for Vinny's birthday. Now, if you don't know what these are, they are the honeycomb balls. Now, you've probably seen them on like Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, they are everywhere and they are absolutely stupid prices. Like, you go and ask someone to like, because people actually make them and sell them, and there's something stupid like, £10 for like one or two of them or whatever. Um, people put them, and you don't have to choose them for parties, put them up into like corners of bedrooms so that it just makes your bedroom look a bit like fancier. Anyway, you've got two um, like coordinating colours. So there's pink and white in this one, and there is blue and teal in this one. This is the most perfect colour for this party, as I showed you, with those ice cream cube, uh, ice cube, ice cream bottles. They'll match perfectly with that. So I picked those up and I'm just going to pop them up in the living room when it's the birthdays. And I thought, you can't go wrong. I'll tell you what size they are. They are 25 centimetres by 20 centimetres. That's what it says on it. But it says superior quality as well. How can you not? A pound. A pound. That's just bonkers. So I think I'm actually going to go back. Because they, they did have other colours in them as well. Um, I might go back actually and get some more. Because like I said before in my previous one, I have a massive tub and I put all this type of stuff in it. So I might actually go back and pick up a few more. How can you not for a pound? It's basically, it, makes, it, it just blows my mind the fact that you can actually buy this stuff for like basically like a pound. Like I do not know how they even make it. But sticking with the party aisle is this. I'm going to bring it to camera to see. Hopefully it will show it up. I'm going to try and bring it in because I want to, you to kind of like see it. There we go. Right, it says, happy birthday. And what you do with this is, it is one of the, where you blow in, so it's air-filled. Not helium-filled, air-filled. Um, you get a little straw inside the back of the pack. These came in gold and silver. Now, out of choice, I'm always more prone to going to the silver option. I just like the silver out, out of choice. Um, they come with a string as well. Three pound, three pound, three pound, three pound, three pound. I just like that, that's what it was mine because I went to a birthday shop and something like this was gonna be like 20, 25 pound. And I was like, yeah, I'd rather buy my toy than that or get something else and spend 25 quid on a balloon that they're gonna go, oh yeah, it's blue. But they can't actually like run around the house and play with it. It's just really a decoration. Three pound. So I just thought, I'm getting one of them. Now I wish I'd actually got another one. I'm probably going to actually end up after this video going back uh, and getting more honeycomb balls and probably another one or two of these because we're having six kids. Obviously, I'm going to need more than one. But they do stay up. I'm going to tell you this now, right? I've had like, I showed you in the previous Pound World video that uh, the numbers. They stay up for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to the point where you're just sick of the sight of seeing it and you actually pop it and you bin it or you give it to somebody else. Um, I have a couple of my kids have birthdays which are quite close together. Pop it somewhere, bring it out, use it again, save a bit of money. So you've done two parties for three quid, can't go wrong. So yeah, three pound, definitely worth getting. Honestly, I swear, put it over your birthday food table, whatever definitely worth picking up one of those because you can't go wrong for it right the next thing i feel like really tight like i keep bending down into my bag um is these i'm not even gonna lie like i absolutely love them i'm just i i just i just i saw them and i'm like i love them I'm, they're going on my fireplace i just like on my window 
and I'm going to get one out and I'm going to show you. You get two in a box and these are two pound. Oh, I'm going to try and see if I can show you. It, it is a little fluffy. A little fluffy jig. And it has flowers in its hair. And it's fluffy. And it was two pound or two in a box. Two pound for two. You went up in the high street and you picked up one of these. You'd be like, I don't know, eight quid for one or something. It'd be sat there, wouldn't it, with a, like some bling all positioned, all nice, and make it look all fancy fancy with a few like chocolate eggs. And be like, thank you very much, eight quid, see you later, bye. Uh, two pound for two in pound world. How can you how can you not even get that? I mean, I know it's not everyone's taste, but it, it looks so nice, so decorative, and it's going to be going for my home with his little mate. Oh, I think the both cheese. Um, yeah, I got them because they're just beautiful. They're just beautiful. I'm going to pop it there so it can just watch my video, and I'll just um, keep looking and admiring it while I'm building. Um, the next thing I got. Eastery wise was this and it is bunting I'll see if I can show you the picture on the back I'm just going to show you it's not really going to pick it up is it it's basically because it's such a small picture it's basically wooden rabbits and um, it's lights reflecting so I'm going to try and do it so the light don't reflect it's wooden 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 what am I saying wooden cardboard cardboard can you tell I'm doing this? It's Saturday morning, I've got six kids and I'm trying to do this video hoping that one of them's not going to cry while I'm doing it. Cardboard rabbits with pom-pom tails because I love pom-poms and um, yeah, pom-pom tails, white ones, brown ones on a little silver string. I'm going to pop it above my big mirror in my living room, just like scoop it down. It's gorgeous. It was £1.50 and I couldn't not not get it so I picked that up and they also had another one that said happy Easter and I think that had like little rabbits at either end but they didn't have the pom-pom tails on and obviously you guys know me I love my pom-poms so these were just too cute not to get so I picked that up then I picked this up which is a craft set um this light is playing havoc with my video it's really annoying me um it's a craft set and it basically is an Easter bonnet decoration kit. And this was 38p. I don't, I don't even know, like, I, as every so often I walk around the shop, I saw, like, a really random price. And I was like, why is that such a random price? Like, there was, like, a spoon holder for £1.13. But I don't know, understand, like, w where did they get, like, £1.13 or 38p? I don't know. Anyway. 38p, I picked it up and I thought, well, I don't know if I'm going to need it, but Easter holidays and they're driving me absolutely up the wall and I'm tearing my hair out and I'm just looking haggard, then I'm going to give them this and just let them crack on with it with some prick sticker, etc. And just let them have a go with that and let them do whatever the hell they want with it. For 38p, you can't go wrong, so I picked that up. Then, because I've got so much more things, I picked this up. A unicorn balloon ball, which is like that. Um, and it's similar to, you know those ball things that I showed you right near the beginning? Is you have a little straw and you blow it up. And I don't know if it's going to, let me see if I can try, try and get a picture of it. There, can you see in this top corner? It's really hard to see. Basically, it looks like a big, giant, fat unicorn when it's blown up. So it doesn't stay like that. It goes... It looks like it's got a big unicorn head on. Um, and this was a pound. And I know that Rita loves unicorns. And it came in um, a pink body, a white body, and a purple body. And like I said, you just fill it with air. And you can bounce it about, etc. And I'm going to put that in her Easter basket. And I thought, for a pound, she'll absolutely love that. And it says it's from 3 Plus. Super size balloons. So I picked that up for it. Then, let me see. Oh. I picked this up, which it is my mother-in-law's um, 
Mother's Day, obviously, this coming Sunday. So just an extra little bit because she's always nipping down to the co-op and I thought, oh, that'll be nice. I'm gonna grab her that little Hessian shopping bag. And it says, I could give up shopping, but I'm not a quitter. That actually sounds like me, to be fair. I think maybe I would have been better off with this bag, but um, maybe I should go back and get one for myself, I don't know. But I just thought, good slogan. I'll pick that bag up. It's got your two handles on the top. Jute shopping bag. Can't go wrong with one of these. It was a pound and it just looks a bit nicer than a carrier bag. And like I said, she could take it down to the co-op and go get a milk and a bread in the morning like she normally does and take it with her. So I picked that up as a little tiny extra to put in her Mother's Day basket. So got that. Then I got, I'm going to pop all this down because my floor, so it, I wish you could see this, it's absolutely covered in the pound world. So I'm just going to dive right in here and pick all these things up because I swear there is like so much stuff still left in here. It's right, I've got all this still to show you. Um, and there's only one last thing that's Easter actually that's left in this big pile. So the last thing is these bunny footprints. And I, I don't even know, I don't know what I'm going to use them for. I don't know if I'm going to use them for maybe an Instagram photo because um, I'm on Instagram and I always do like kind of like novelty photos and stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to use them for that. Or maybe, I think actually Easter morning, I think I'm going to put them maybe like from the staircase along to the living room to the eggs and maybe just like leave like a cute little trail so they can come and follow the bunny prints. I don't know. We might use them for decorations. Who knows? They were a pound. They were too cute not to get. So I picked up some bunny prints with the spot. Okay. Might as well. A pound. Can't be wrong. Then we're going to go on to, again, just random stuff. Random pound world stuff. Because not everyone's interested in Easter. And I, I went down all the other aisles because there's some good stuff in there. So the first thing of those majority bits I picked up here was this. Now, I think this is how you pronounce it. Is it Allure? Allure? Um, Fleur... Fleur de Force, I think it's called, brow palette. It's going out for a bit in it. Um, and this was three pound. I don't know where I was going to pick it up. It was three pounds. And it's basically a complete brow kit with two tone powder shadow and highlighter. Beauty top vlogger. Um, I got it in medium. And they had it in um, medium and dark. I think they had a, I think they had a light one. Um, I just thought I might as well try it. I mean, three pound. I don't know how much you would know of it shots, but I'm guessing it's gonna obviously gonna be way more than three pound. I do watch her. I watched this this girl on YouTube because she has a YouTube channel and she's had a little girl recently called I think she's called River Wren, a little girl. She's so cute. But um, yeah, she's always she always looks so pretty and so beautiful. And she obviously has her own range and the eyelashes and everything. Everything because you'll probably recognise that that she does the little. Um, false eyelashes so I picked this up and thought I might as well give it a whiz and see if it's any good so I picked up the three pound then I picked up a foundation brush I don't know how good this is going to be but it said it was a pound it's a premium brush and um, when I actually got to the tail it went through at 50p so how could 50p um, even if I only used it a couple of times, or even if it was one that I just took with me on holiday because I didn't want to take like all my best brushes, for 50p, you can't go wrong, it's, even ch it's cheaper than like the Primark ones. So I picked that up for 50p, a foundation brush. Then I picked up these Paw Patrol chocolate lollies. Cole's already taken one out, so it had four in rubbles missing out of this packet. Um, he loves these lollies. We pick them up all the time, but I'll tell you right, they're in there for a pound. But we went to Home Bargains afterwards and in Home Bargains they are 79p and you try telling a four year old when they pick these up, we're going to Home Bargains afterwards, there are only 79p in there, just wait two minutes and then we'll get a pack in there. He wasn't listening, I had a basket that was overspilling and I had a nine month old in a car seat desperate to be leaving shop so I basically just thought sod it, just let him have them, well, I'm saving what like 20p or something. Just let him have them, so I did. But be warned, they are cheaper in home bargains. But he likes them, so we picked them up for him. Then I picked up this, um, which is just a little figure. Tube Heroes. I don't know, I've never really heard of them, but um, 
the tube heroes and it's basically just like a movable figure with a little hat and a sword and a shield and i just thought i think cole will absolutely love that it's probably a bit random but i just thought i'm gonna pop it in his easter basket um just a little bit smells i know it's not eastery but it was just okay and this was a pound and it's a proper like a proper like branded toy so it's not going to just like snap off in like seconds or whatever so i picked this up for him and then the final thing that i got because this video is probably like super 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 long but i did like i did a big shop didn't i so is this and it is the Squasquaf, 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 oh my god, someone tell me how you pronounce that, Squasquaf, I don't know, Gliss Hair Repair with Liquid Keratin, Siquid, oh my god, Siquid, Liquid Silk Shampoo, Um. right, I, I bought some of this before, and it was amazing on my hair like it made because I, I i get my hair highlighted and i have bleach highlights and i've used all sorts of different shampoos um and then i picked this up about a month ago and i couldn't believe how nice my hair felt from using it and i've used expensive ones i've used cheap ones i've used aldi anything i'm not a big snob i just want something to work so it, i ran out because all the kids had started just using big massive handfuls of it and then I'd run out and we ended up getting some other shampoo and my hair just felt horrible. So when I went in and I saw it on the shelf, I just picked up a bottle and thought, I might have to hide this at the back of the cupboard because the kids are just gonna squeeze it all out and use it again. So I picked that up and that was a pound. And that is everything, everything I bought at Pound World. And yeah, I'm not ashamed that I went and bought some more stuff because I friggin love shopping. I'm sorry, but that's just me. I love shopping and I hope you have enjoyed this trip round Poundland and Pound World. Um, if you like this video, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love you to stick around for lots more videos. If you go through all my videos, you see that I'm a mixed bag of lifestyle, um, day in the life, weekly vlogs all that type of stuff shopping hauls there'll be a lot of shopping hauls if you like shopping then definitely subscribe to my channel because there's gonna be a heck lot of shopping on my channel um and yeah any comments don't forget to leave them down below and that is it i will catch you all again super super soon in another video hope you have a nice day bye for now